Hello, welcome to 365 SBS episode 156, the Musical Mystery Hour. That's why I got my mysterious looking Sherlock Holmes y kind of gear on. But I tell you what, before I get started on today's show, I got to shout out once again and really thanks to you guys. Oh, Cletus and Jeb, you helped me out big time and let me tape in and using that tape. And, and I got to apologize. I, I uh, I was introducing the show a little bit, and I called that they were down at their radio station. I called it KSKM. It's WSKM. So sorry about that. I want to get it straight. And we'll, I'll probably be hearing from them later on in the month when they get more details about their uh, banjo bonanza show. It's coming up pretty soon here. So well, I'll get back to that later. But today's show is called the Musical Mystery Hour. Because, you know, I'm thinking, I'm always thinking about stuff all the time. And, you know, life in general is very mysterious. And, you know, I can't always deal with those heavy problems and questions and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, nice hat. Uh, so I thought, I did, but there are some small ones I think I can handle. The first ones I want to I wanna deal with, I, I kept hearing hornswoggle. What's that? What is hornswoggle? I mean, I just tried to figure it out. Like, there's all kinds of horns. You got trumpets, you got cornucopias, you got antlers and horn. Yeah, I mean, a trumpet, they got a spit bell. I think swab, maybe it's something made to clean out the trumpet. Or uh, then a cornucopia, they got the little feet on it so it doesn't tip over. Maybe those are called the the swoggles of the cornico the horn of plenty, I don't know. Or maybe antlers have cals too much calcium deposits, a little growth that's a horn swoggle. I don't know. You know, and I'm, I kept thinking about that and I even and I work out my problems sometimes. That I use my music and write lyrics just to kind of it's kind of my diary, you know, so I wrote a song about that. I wrote but then I re before and I, I went into all kinds of lengths that I recorded it and practiced were and everything. Then I really, all I got to do is look it up in the dictionary. It just means swindle, but hello. I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't. There's another mystery to try to solve. Why didn't I just, if I want to find out what a word means, look it up. But anyway, I'm going to play the song because I like the song anyway. So here we go. Horn Swap. Redundant. Oh, not redundant. That's the wrong one. Woo! We want, this is what we want. Gotta go, I gotta ski that lawn out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Just here we go. Just remember. Just remember. I forgot, and I sure would like to know. See? There we go. This Herb is. Swabble. That's what Woo! we're talking about. Take two. Uh, There you go. See, I had a, my suspicion was right. I had a strong suspicion, not sure what it was. It had something to do with not being everlasting bliss. And that was right. I looked it up, swindled. Okay, so that's, see, that's one mystery. If you had that, if you wondered what horn swaggle was, now you know, it just means swindle. Now, my next one is a little more vague. It has to do with redundancy, and I'll tell you what sparked my idea for this song was, I went to the gas station, I saw a sign, please pay, what was the sign, I wrote it down here, oh yeah, it said, prepay in advance before pumping your gas, prepay in advance, well, is there any other way to prepay but in advance, so it's, 
I thought about redundancy. So that's my, that's what this song's all about. So let's hear it. It's called Redundant. Redundant? Yes. Take 234. <laughs> If you think about it a little bit, because most people aren't paying attention to you anyway, so you've got to say things and do them over and over. You know, that's pretty simple. But the next question that I really, it was a real mystery to me, I really didn't get, was about, the, did you see these advertisements for bug sprays and stuff like that and soap that's 99.9% .9 pure? And what gets me is the bug spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of the bug. What about that guy that makes it through? Killed everybody else. 10,000 to the right, 10,000 to the left. But no, the one bug remains. Now, what? here's the mystery. Why aren't they doing genetic research? Find that little germ. Get his DNA. Do some biological research. Implant it into... To people so they can resist stuff you know you could look you get this stuff in you the bubonic plague can go through your whole town would you get oh, I got a little tickle for a few days nothing that's what we need we got to find that bug that makes it through the 99.9 percent .9 of everybody else dying and he lives so I wrote a song about that guy and that's still a mystery I, I haven't figured that one out it's called only I Take one, only I. that guy's genetic code going that's what we need now one more mystery I have is why on earth I did this picture and that I can't figure it out 
it's back. Something strange must have been happening. In fact, I'm going to read you. Here's the title of this thing here. It's called, and I don't know, what we're, I was thinking, what's the date on it? 78, it must have been a rough year for me. Here's the title. A Midsummer Night Scream, where in the flowerless womb of Angelina is reconstructed into a Freudian principality where sex and death are courted by the Prince of Fools, none other than the late great Quasimodo. That's the title. Or, now we got, I got an alternate title. You better start beating yourself so you'll be ready when I get home. Eh, still not quite mm, nailing it, so I did one more title. Samson's Twin Sister. I think that's better. So let's just take a little look at this. Let's see, how's our time doing? Oh, we're running a little long, so we can't stay too long with uh, Samson's Twin Sister. But here it is. Now, I'm going to turn this light on so you get a bit better view, which I don't know if that's even a good idea. Maybe the, the less good view you have, the better. There's the picture. Okay, there's the long view. Yeah, okay. Pretty cool uh, composition. I kind of like that. And I like some elements. I like these hidden skulls in the shadows. I mean... You, well, that's good. And we got a little uh, Newtonian thing going there. And I like the I like the scratchy elements. This guy? Eh, I don't know about that guy right there. Of course, we got good old Adolf. You got to have some of that and a little of the power. But I like, now see, I kind of like some of the graphic stuff here. I like some of the compositional elements. I do, I do like that. And then we got, of course, we got uh, up here it starts getting kind of strange. So I don't know about some of that aspect. But anyway, like I say, this is one mystery I really got no clue about. But there it is. What's the classic pose? Hey, you know, I'm, this guy's kind of grown on me. Let's get him do the classic pose. Got a red cap. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe I'm seeing some clues here. I don't know. But there's your classic pose for the musical mystery hour. And I think that's about a done deal. So we're going to have to say ciao for now. Hashtag GBE. And we're really over now, Dunsville, USA.